introducing us to start Farm Rain. I've been here all my life. I've worked in the Dallas area and I love to show Dallas just like y'all. <laughs> and we always welcome all our guests from all over the world and Brazilians. In the heart of the cattle ranching land in North Texas lies the South Fork Ranch made famous by the 1980s TV show called Dallas. The TV series revolved around the wealthy Texan family, the Ewans. During that time, I lived in Brazil, and every time the show aired, my family and I sat quietly watching every episode. Needless to say, all the women were in love with JR. Despite his schemes and dirty business, he won everyone's heart. He was the perfect villain and our hero. He was Dallas. The South Fork Ranch, home of the Ewan family, they start begin like 1930s. The wild cattle, John Ross, Jack Ewan, had allegedly cheated his one-time partner, Willer Digger Barnes. Ian married Digger's only love, 
Eleanor, Mrs. Zelly, Southworth. Ellie's family were, in contrast to Jock ranchers, with great love for the land and the cattle. Following the marriage of Ellie and Jock, the Southworth family ranch, Southworth, became the Ewan's home, where Jock and Mrs. Ellie raised three sons, J.R., Gary, and Bobby. The main character, J.R., the eldest Ewan son, unscrupulous and unhappily married to a former Mrs. Texas, Swellen Shepherd, Linda Gray. He was frequently at odds with his youngest brother, Bobby, who had the morals and integrity that J.R. lacked. Middle son Gary was at his favor as he displayed Southward traits. And Bobby Ewan was the golden child, the youngest who seemed to possess all the positive qualities of his older brothers, but none of the bad, and for quite some time was the only one who sees J.R. for who he is and has the power to stop him. The series originally focused on the marriage of Bobby, Ewing, and Pamela Burns, whose family were swore enemies. As the series progressed, Oyuta Kun Jr. Ewing grew to be the show's main character. His scheme and dirty business became the show's trademark. When the show ends, in 1991, Jr. was the only character to have appeared in every episode. In the end, the Wilhelm family was a family like any other one. In a young Brazilian woman eyes, the Dallas TV show introduced the glamour, the cowboy, the cowboy hat, the helicopter flying over the golden buildings, the breakfast outside, the oil business, and above all, a dream life in Texas. Despite all the dysfunctional drama in the Ewan family, my heart only allowed my eyes to see the beauty of Hollywood cinema. In my mind, I was writing a different story, where J.R. loved and adores Swellen, and where Mrs. Ellie raised three amazing sons, where they all sat around the table without fighting and being courteous to one another. Visiting the South Fork Ranch after decades later made me feel a part of the Ewan family. Wiley walking around the house, sitting outside in the breakfast table, I feel like Swellen or maybe Pamela. I got lost in the middle of the dysfunctional and the drama when I met a very nice gentleman in Brazil who said he was from Dallas, Texas, he won my heart right there. In a young girl's mind, I was married into the Ewan family. <laughs> well, that was until I moved to Dallas. Then it occurred to me there was no Ewan family or the dream world of Dallas I had imagined. Dallas is a modern and beautiful city. It's still filled with oil and gas business, high-tech companies, amazing cuisine diversity, banking, parks, professional sports, and above all, great people. The TV show was unique in another way. It made work sexy. Many other TV series have been set in the workplace, but only Dallas told the viewers of its aphrodisiac power. Gina was the modern corporate male defined by his job. Swellen might have been driven to drink over her husband's many affairs, but she knew the man's most dominating mistress was Ewan Oil. I am so glad the TV show Dallas inspired me to leave Brazil and move to Texas.
name is Gail, and I'm just letting them know in case they forgot to win the show. Who sat where at the breakfast table? Do you remember? No, but uh, I'll let you tell me. All right. I, mean, I remember you said Jock and JR yep. sat here. And Absolutely. I'm sure That's right. Sue this was Jock. Mm -hmm. Look at that. He, he remembers the names. But anyway, this was Jock Ewing's chair. The chair right over there across was where Miss Ellie sat. And then where you're sitting is where JR sat. And then Sue Ellen. And then Lucy sat on the end. And then over here we had Bobby and Pam. And then we had an empty seat. Of course, over the years, things change. Pam leaves. Well, then they finally left Ray and Donna sit over here. And then when we lost Jock, then they let Clayton sit here. So we have all kinds of people all, you know, always changing it a little bit, but that's the Ewing table. Yeah. bigger on television is because they would use wide angle camera lenses and sometime when nobody was in that pool they put a big old mirror at the other end of that pool to make it look really big. This swimming pool, this is actually the swimming pool that was used on the TV show Dallas. Ah, uh, this pool, this is where you saw everybody swimming all the time, but this is also the swimming pool where Kristen fell from the balcony and fell to her death. JR swears he didn't push her. I didn't push her. She fell, the, you know, the, the rail broke, she fell in the pool. Well, look guys, that balcony's way over there. You got all of this space. If you fail, you'd end up in this bush. So, I think JR actually got mad. I think he threw her threw her in the water and she died. I think JR got away with murder. And for the first time, you know what? I'm kind of glad he didn't get caught because we got all those extra seasons of Dallas. How about that?